Today we will measure temperature and humidity using DXT11 sensor with phases 3 development. The DXT11 sensor is a sensor that provides the temperature and humidity value of the environment as a digital output signal. It usually has three connection pins power, VCC, ground, BND, and signal data pins. Although some others have four pins, this pin is usually not used. The connection should be made as follows. VCC power, it should be connected to 3.3 output of phase 3 board. GND, it should be connected to ground pins of phase 3 board. And signal data pins. It should be connected to suitable material pins of phase 3 board. Tonka on flop register. It's important to add Tonka on flop register from the data pin to VCC. Use this resistor to ensure the stability of data signal. In order for DHT11 sensor to work with 3.2, it's necessary to connect it to VCC pin to 3.3 output of base 3 board. On platforms such as Arduino, VCC pin can also be connected to 5 volts, but since phase 3 since phase 3 works with 3.3, it must be connected to 3.3 volts. Let's look at the data protocol. To receive data from the DHT11 sensor, the SPGA first sends a low signal for 18 milliseconds. Then it releases the line and holds it tight for about 30 microseconds. Then it releases the line, wait for the response from the sensor. DHT11 responds with 80 microsecond low signal, then send the 80 microseconds high signal to indicate that it's ready to transmit data. It's then transmit a total per bit of data. Each bit start 50 microsecond low signal and value of the bit determined by high signal direction. 28 microsecond high signal equals 0 bit. 70 microsecond high signal equals 1 bit. After all data received, 2 second multiple wait for the DHT to take measurements again. This circle is repeat every 2 seconds. Well, top data format. First, 8 bits integer part of community value. Second, 8 bits decimal part of community value. Third, 8 bits integer part of temperature value. Fourth, 8 bits decimal part of temperature value. Last, 8 bits checksum. Error check is performed by taking the sum of the first 32 bits. Let's try to understand the code. There is three models in our project file and we have one main model. First, let's look at the DHT reader model. There are two generic variables in this model. And our port definition. DHT pin is designed as an in-out because it can both send and read signals. Data buffer is variable where once and readers are collected, it will be sent to top model. The state machine to use DHT11 sensor. There are necessary signal definition and array definitions. There are keeps the direction of the low and high signals. The array size is 4B and each bit is 8 bits. Data buffer will hold all variables. It will keep high time of the DHT pin, such as 20, 20, 70, 72, 22. And for the internal law, it will collect low time, such as 50, 51, 52, 52, 50. You know, there's some parasite and uh, small changes can be okay. I explained the document we need to read 28 or 27, but in my DHT, I read 22 and 23. I will show it in the notes. So, 
it's normal, I guess. It's okay. No problem. This status is determined to determine whether the DHDP will read or write to indicate that data is ready. And there is a clock here. You know, there's a three board is the 100 megahertz, but we reduced to one megahertz. It's working microseconds, so one megahertz is suitable for us. Our print state machine is starting, and first uh, case is start. We send the first 80 millisecond low signal. When it's complete, the counter is reset. Case pass a leave high. We wait the pin reading mode. We wait for the response of DHT sensor. We read. 80 microsecond low signal. After reading, state low delay, pass, and the counter is reset. After reading, 80 microsecond state becomes data, and all bits and buffers is reset. And there's a bit counter, and it's 80. Why it's 80? 40 bit high data will be read. We wait for 40 bit low data before each bit, so totally we have 80 bits data. In my code, I designed like that. Maybe you can find different way. In the high state, times for each bit are measured and high state field buffer measures at all feet in this buffer. There's high time read, counters, and it counts it count for every each bit. And there's high time read, counter, it counts for each bit. And it's all, all variables of internal high, but we need ones and zeros but buffer internal high, pass, or hold, 20, 70, 20, 20. And there's data buffer. It will hold ones and zeros because we need it. And there's an average value. It's 50. If value is bigger than 50, like 70, it's hold one. If less than 50, like 20, it holds zero. So, buffer, data buffer holds our last and zeros. Finally, we find it. We did use it in data buffer. It holds one zeros, one, one zeros. And we define it in the port. So, we will expand it top model. And we will use yard and cell segment. The author store the low direction in the buffer, but we will not use it. It's full of 50. Then our AD is complete, we will take value. After AD is are complete, the stop is become free before we stop. See the counter count for two seconds, and this is a necessary for the AD sensor, the sensor head. And it's generated. When two seconds are complete, the stop is the current start, and the same process are repeated. The reset is data buffer, and we will be open to that. Again, I just want to say that it's very important we will use data buffer, because our ones and zeros inside this data. So let's move on to your first minute. The genetic parameters, clock frequency, power rate, and stop it. Clock frequency 100 megahertz. We can work with a kind of different clock frequency. And for definition, there's a data percent. This is a different module, so we have to define another data buffer. In the top module, data to send will be data buffer. So our data inside the data to send, and there's some necessary signals. And we have start byte and stop byte. Sensor has Five byte and one stop and one stop. We will send seven byte and there is state machine part and byte set. We will send seven byte. So we have to describe these variables. So we will select which byte send. State equal as idle. Takes equal one. Takes time to equal zero. It counter is zero. Byte set equal one. State equal as start and switch register equal. Start byte. The first hash rate equal start byte. We will send start byte first and start hash rate zero send to your and state equal as data. We send the other bit when it's done state equal as stop. Let's move on as stop. If byte zero new byte cell 
will be 1 and state as weight next. Let's move on x weight next. By itself equal 1, state equal as start. We will do all the process again and switch register right now. Send our sensor data. Normally, we have to describe like that. But my most significant bit is last significant bit. And my last significant bit is most significant bit. So I have to reverse the data. We move on and start again. And switch register right now. First byte for the sensor. And it will send to all data. When it's done, we move on the S stop, byte select 1, new byte select 2, as you are equal S weight next, that's no more X weight next. Now we send second byte for the sensor, all process will be again and again, and we will send 5 byte for the sensor, plus we will send stop byte, all process repeat again and again. Let's move on to the segment display. We have to Describe this because if number is one, if number is one, just one digit will be turned on. If number is ten, two digit is turned on. If number is a hundred, three digit is turned on. And we have to understand what is the number, and we have to describe which digit is turned on and turned off. All the details stay on output. This is for the first, second, and third, and we have to turn on and turn off all digits step by step, and this part for that one. Let's move on to top module. And there's general parameters, and there's some necessary ports. And we have to add the other module as a component. You know how to describe a component. I want to show one. Let's delete here and we want to get the reader, PhD reader and copy here to here. Copy entity parts and move on to top model again. And we have to copy and paste architecture and begin. Past here and change entity as a component and component. And our component is ready. And for the seven segment component and for the yard component. And there's some signals for the top module. And we have to collect all the signals. This is for the PHD reader. Clock equal clock. PHD pin equal PHD pin. Data buffer equal data buffer internal. Data read equal data read internal. This is for the UART takes module. Clock equal clock. Take start equal take start. Takes to send equal data buffer internal. Takes out equal takes out, takes down equal takes down eternal. Seven segment. For the seven segment, clock equal clock, data to display equal data to display, sec equal sec, and equal one. And this is how fast we will see the result in the UART. And we have switch cell is a port. If switch cell equal one, on the seven segment display, just we will see the humidity. If switch cell equals zero, we will see the humidity. I think that's done. Let's load the code our card and look at how it works.